So last episode in the Washington Wizards My GM mode, we acquired that big, small forward in Jabari Parker. Because Kelly's gone, so he's gone for another two months. He's gone for a while. Uh, let's check. Four to six weeks. So he's gone for another four to six weeks. But we got his replacement, though. Because I don't think Kelly's ready yet. He's not. He's just not ready. But, uh... Regardless, we have a 26 and 27 record. We've won one in a row against the Boston, not Boston, the Chicago Bulls. Team chemistry is at 77, but that's because we just did a big trade. Fan interest is always at 100. We are ninth in the Eastern Conference and second in the Southeast Division. Are we in the playoff picture? We are out of the playoff picture. Tied with the Bucks in our record. We traded Damian Lillard, it, Damian Lillard for Jabari Parker that trade but it's all-star weekend so I'll just sim through this day we're not giving up Russ Smith for Darren Darren Collison bad trade anyway we're at all-star weekend so let's check out the all-stars for this year so where are they at all-star participants so your Eastern all-stars this year are Kyrie Irving, point guard, J Jimmy Butler, shooting guard, LeBron James, small forward, Ben Simmons, power forward, Paul George, small forward, Derrick Rose, point guard, Josh Jackson, shooting guard, Jason Tatum, small forward, Kevin Love, power forward, Nikola Vucevic, center, Jabari Parker, small forward, Reggie Jackson, point guard, Bradley Beal, shooting guard, but he's out, so I'm guessing they have to use, wait, no, he's not even starting, so it doesn't really matter. And, yeah, that's it for your Eastern All-Stars. Western All-Stars, we got James Harden, shooting guard, Steph Curry, point guard, Anthony Davis, p power forward, Carl Anthony Towns, center, Kevin Durant at small forward, Russell we Westbrook, Russell Westbrook at po point guard, Clay Thompson at shooting guard, Gordon Hayward at small forward, Blake Griffin at power forward, Marcus Gasol at center, D'Angelo Russell at point guard, but he's out with a broken right leg, Emmanuel Moutier, at point guard, John Wall at point guard. He stepped up. I'm proud of John Wall. But that is it for your Western All Stars. So let's go to dunk content. Wait, no, let's let's check out the leads and the stars. So your stars for this year are Hal Livingston, point guard, Leo Pearson, point guard, Bryce Wheeler at power forward, Lionel Singleton at small forward. Edgar Aldridge at small forward, Dan Manning at point guard, Darius Warner at shooting guard, Shannon Riley at small forward, Luther Maggot at power forward, Dan Kelly at center, and that is it for your stars, rising stars. Now the elites, we got Elton Perkins at point guard, Gregory Dillon at point guard, Nelson Irving at small forward, Bryant Caffey at power forward, Clyde Brock at power forward, Jamal Blackman at point guard, Ricky Bolton at shooting guard, Cliff Bullard at small forward, Doug Drew the second at power forward, Harvey Johnston at center, and that is it for your elites. So, dunk contest. We got Dennis Smith, point guard. Malik Monk at sh Malik Monk, shooting guard. Jonathan Isaac at small forward. And Tyron Wall, who we traded in that Jabari trade. So, it, it was something we had to give up. Otherwise, they wanted way too much. Still can't believe I found him in the free agency. But, three-point contest. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Justin Anderson, Dante Exum, Clay Thompson, and Paul George. Noticeably absent is Steph Curry. I thought for sure he'd be in the three-point contest. But that is it for your, all your all-star participants for this year, in 2019-20. So, uh, the only thing logical left to do is to sim the all-star weekend. So let's check this out. Simcast the Rising Stars game. I'm guessing the elites are gonna win. There you go, elites win, 85 to 73. Brian Caffey, 21 points, seven rebounds, two assists, one steal, and one block in the win for the elites. And we got Clyde Brock, 18 points, Nelson Irving, 13, and the usuals. Johnson with 10 rebounds. For your stars, Hal Evanston, 24 points, four rebounds, five assists, and one steal in the loss to the elites. Shannon Riley, 13 points. Dan Manning, 11 points. Dan Manning was one of the players I was hoping was going to get released, but he didn't, so it kind of sucks. Anyway, that's the Rising Stars game. 
Now let's go sim through this dunk contest. No, we're not trading Lou Purdue and Darren Fox. They're rookies. Or our stars, I guess you could say. On the bench. So let's see who won the all I mean the three point contest and the dunk contest. So the three point contest winner was Dante Exum from Utah Utah. And your slam dunk contest winner was Dennis Smith from San Antonio. Now let's sim the NBA All Star game. My money's on the Eastern Conference to win because we're part of it. Never mind. The Western Conference wins 112 to 94. Nikola Vucevic for the Eastern All Stars had 20 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 block in the loss to the West. Kyrie Irving, 18 points. Obviously, oh, Jabari had 2 points and 1 steal, but he's on the reserve though. And of course, Bradley Beal couldn't play because he's injured. Western All-Stars, Anthony Davis had 19 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 steals and 5 blocks in the win over the Eastern All-Stars. James Harden, 13 points, Steph Curry, 12, Kevin Durant, 13. Same old, same old. John Wall, 4 points, 1 rebound, 3 minutes. It's pretty good for him. So he's getting better and better. Uh, So... Now we're at the trade deadline. I have no idea. I don't think we really need to make any trades at all. We're good where we're at. I'll, I'll look, take a look at the roster. See if we can make it, I don't know, maybe a backup big man. Oh yeah, speaking of it, uh, getting players, I had no idea that I was actually going to get comments on the videos. And I usually end up filming the videos, I usually f film maybe three episodes in one night, and then I just upload them over three days. So most of the changes, I can't really, like I can't see the comments, because I've already done the videos. Which kind of sucks, for now on I'll, I'll check the comments out if there's any, and see what you guys have to say. So let's see, practice. We don't need to change the practice, we're fine. Now let's focus on the trade deadline. So I'll decline this offer and then we'll stop the simming and we'll take a look at the roster, see what we need to improve. I for sure need to trade a point guard because we have way too many point guards. Way too many. That was one of the reasons why I got rid of Tyron Walls because I'll well, not really get rid of him. I had to part with him, but. So we have four four point guards, Russ Smith, Patrick Beverly, Lou Purdue, and Drew Holiday. So yes, yeah, so now we have for shooting guards we have Darren Fox, injured Bradley Beal, and Ronald Cohen. So we could flip one of these players for a shooting guard who could play. Because we have no backup to Bradley Beal. Anyway, for small forwards we got Pat we got Otto Porter. We got wait. Otto Porter can play shooting guard. Yeah, let's flip in the shooting guard. There you go. I'll solve that problem. So you get Jabari and Kelly at small forward. I think we're good there. And then for power forwards, we got Julius Randle, Maurice Nador, and Byron Townsend. We're good there. As for centers, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm guessing... Uh... We could flip maybe a Russ Smith for, because Russ Smith's on his contract year. And Beverly looks like he wants to re-sign with us. Because if you look at here, yeah. I'd like to re-sign the team after the season's done. So we could potentially trade Russ Smith for maybe a backup center. But in case that doesn't happen, we can always... We could always probably change Byron Townsend to maybe center. We could do that. Anyway, small forwards, we could just easily change Otto Porter to a shooting guard for that. So I'll go do that right. Yeah, I'll do that right now. So edit Otto Porter. Because for some, for some reason, we got we got Patrick Beverly playing shooting guard, which is, which is good because he could play any position practically except center. I've tried him out in those. Wait, why'd I put point guard? 
change a small four for secondary. There you go. Except changes. Let's check how where he's at. Oh, it gets worse, but I think his shooting's still there. Yeah, he's okay. I think his shot is potential. His potential's down the toilet now, and you convert him to shooting guard. But oh crap, he wasn't. He was only like two overall points at after seventy. He's like seventy-two overall, so it doesn't really matter too much. But anyway, now we got that problem solved for shooting guards. For point guards now, we gotta flip one of these guys. We just gotta. We're not flipping Drew because he's already good. Uh, we could potentially change. Yeah, probably Russ Smith would be the guy to go. Because we could change Russ Smith. Oh, wait. Why don't I just trade, change Russ? Because he's good at shooting. Good shooter. And Russ Smith. Yeah, why don't I just change him to a shooting guard? And I'll change Otto Porter back to small forward because that's where his position is. Change him to shooting guard. Put point guard up there. Play didn't ruin, ruin his. Yeah, he's 74 overall, so that's not too bad. So I'll just change Auto Porter quickly. Wait. Yeah, Auto Porter. It's vitals. Going back to small forward. There you go. So now his overalls back up. So now we just gotta maybe. Uh. I don't know what we're gonna do with backup center. I wonder if Maurice Nador. Yeah, he could probably play center. He's a power forward. He can obviously play center. And he's got rebounding too. Because if you look at his rebounding, B. That's all you really need to have as a center. And some post defense too. But he's alright in that department. Otherwise, I think our roster is pretty good. Uh, So I guess I will leave it off here. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Washington Wizards My GM mode. And thanks for watching, and I will see you later.